everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Off Center Outdoors Podcast. I'm your host, Matt Dockstetter, alongside my partner in crime, the animal stuff and midget moron from Ojai. And this will, I guess, officially be our day after Christmas. And this uh, will come out the day after Christmas. This yes, is sir. our official Christmas video. Yep. So yeah, Merry Christmas. Hope Merry yesterday Christmas. was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, today uh, I'm going to got the fryer out on a traditional Christmas table. Yep. Instead of making Christmas cookies, I make Christmas corn burritos. Yeah, I couldn't ask for better. People will be coming by off and on, select people. Yeah, to pick, up, to pick. Yeah, well, no, I think it's amazing how when their deer head's ready, <laughs> they're not here. But man, you have a plate of corn burritos, and mm -hmm. I must start tricking them. There you oh, go. Well, I just blew my trick. <laughs> it's all right. I, I, I think they'll probably forget. Yeah. Well, man, you had a hell of a weekend or something, man. Yeah, I've been busy. Been busy. We Jeez. took in a whole bunch of work. Man, that, that Longhorn was something. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a good one. I think he's 14 years old. And I kind of, I feel like I'm going to regret taking him in. Why would you say that? Something like that, maybe. Uh-huh. It's that whole no pets thing. Yep, but, and even though it's a cow, it's yeah. a, apparently their pets. Yeah, charismatic megafauna. They get in your head. Cool. Big cool shit. I get the charismatic, I get the megafauna part, mm -hmm. but the charismatic, I mean, I, I, see when you said that I was picturing like a saber-toothed tiger yeah. being charismatic to the yeah, to hug. Same difference, like a, a big bear or... Yeah, him running, like, for his life. A gigantic set of uh, horns on a big... European elk. Yeah, exactly. But, no, he, he's, uh, I guess she had him since before he started sprouting horns, so... Yeah, but don't forget, we did the Hereford to Hereford. Yeah. Or the mega, mega, mega. Mm -hmm. The biggest uh, bull in the research is from... Um, yeah. Burf, Burford to Herford, and they loved. I mean, no, for sure. Just looked like Burford, yeah, absolutely. You know? And yeah, it, and I, those Watusis looked like mm -hmm. the Watusis. So yeah, no, it, it'll be just fine. You just I'm gonna have to start doing a little, the Watusi. A little extra, extra care just to make sure it looks like his name was Pick of the Litter. So oh, I had a name. Yeah. Oh fuck. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't find that out until we were done. Oh but man. That's all right. Oh man, it's all right. I'll be fine. Where? Are we? Well, I hope you use uh, many mechanical connections on Absolutely. that to get it right, without a doubt. But yeah, coming from where she used to use and hearing a few of the stories of things that he did, I'm she'll be happy with what we do. So, no shit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you know something? Speaking of that, I saw something on Facebook where a guy had posted. Pictures of an, another guy's stuff mm -hmm. to redo, but the thing I don't like is when they say this came from. Yeah, naming the artist. Yeah, that's not cool. No, for sure. It's just not cool. Because yeah, people... you don't know where that guy's at at that time. Yeah. You know, and yeah. you don't know how, what, you don't know any of the story. Absolutely. You don't know nothing. 100%. You know? If, you, if somebody wants to know, you can privately message them the info but why is this my own fucking business yeah now and, and in some cases when you get guys that used to go here and there there may be a mm -hmm. reason they used to go there maybe the other guy doesn't want them yeah back no for sure you know like we know that mm -hmm. well you've seen that happen here yep absolutely i got to see me actually rip antlers off a guy's yep. mountain hand one of, the, one of the first times i was here on a regular basis yeah, poor man was like <laughs> trial by fire he goes what do you do but no i'm like 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 with my situation i'm i'm not bashful to tell people why i got into this was because mm -hmm. of another guy i wasn't happy with my first elk i had done so i said hey eh, I'll, I'll go learn that well even this. me to a point you mm -hmm. know when i the guy i was i just go you know i just just i don't know what it just didn't look right yeah and uh now here i am yep know? absolutely but unlike you I had Uncle Butch, you know, yeah. so I, I read the 995 article, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. came running down the stairs at the bunkhouse, mm -hmm. making everybody 
laugh and say I was full of shit. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a rainy morning. A couple of days of rain will do us some good, I think. It will. And then now we're gonna we had plans to mount today, but it looks like we're gonna be yeah. firming and fleshing, which is a quality problem. Absolutely. We had I had uh a stack of work come in over the last couple of days, so I've got got some stuff to do, and I left a couple of things in the freezer in my handle after Christmas. So, now that's okay too. Absolutely, you know. they're they're going to be quick enough that it'll be no problem. At well, all. we and why you saying that is they're we, both going to go in a martini tan anyway. So. Oh, that's a yeah, yeah. So I, I got plenty of time on that. <laughs> but we have a policy, really, is. Uh, <clears throat> We always stop what we're doing if possible to mm -hmm. take care of this stuff and not throw it in the freezer. Yeah, when you get in five deer, a longhorn, a gigantic pig, and a couple other small critters, the small critters get to go back in the freezer for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, because we do those. Yeah. Hey, that was so cool. That martini tan thing mm -hmm. you sent me. Hey, what's the martini? And so I so told Matt, let's go into way, way, way back time machine. Yep. And wonder where the term martini tan came from, shaken, mm -hmm. not stirred. Yes, absolutely. And remember on that video, I had that, that girl had drawn a martini tan yeah. with the deer laying in it? Uh-huh. You know? And that was... Uh, every time I see somebody else talk about it, I think about that about that poster. Mm-hmm. Well, again, and you know, we'll tie this into when Joe Kish says they have no idea whose mm -hmm. shoulders they're standing on. Yep. You know, and they'll be whatever they think, and... Uh, they have no idea. No, for sure. I will say a lot of people that answered that post did give you credit for... Really? Yeah, they said, oh. go, go watch Chuck's video, send Chuck a message, he'll walk you through it. And Then, of course, my big mouth had to chime in and just give well, him the answer right then and say, ah, don't worry about bugging Chuck, I got you. No, I, w I would rather you... They start getting... No, they're already getting to know you. Yeah, well... But, you know... And that, yeah, that was on the on the Texas Taxidermy Association no page. Shit. So. Wow, you'd think they'd have learned from Trap down there when he was... Doing time, but he got textized, man. And yeah. You can't beat it out of him. Even his dad <laughs> says, man, he had too much Texas. Yeah. No offense to our friends in Texas. No, it's absolutely. Just, just the way it's been done mm -hmm. down there forever. And Well, for the, for those that don't know, you want to tell them what the martini tan is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not actual vodka. Could and, be, I guess. Yeah. It's uh, denatured alcohol and pure, pure gum turpentine mm -hmm. not just turpentine yep. although i wonder if i don't want to risk using regular turpentine yeah i don't know what the difference is yeah, but. no but first and and the, and it's 50 50 and we always like to say shake and not stir mm -hmm. and we shake it up every once in a while hence the martini hence the martini right shake and not stir mm -hmm. could have called it a double seven tan would have been maybe even cooler oh i don't know i might have never said that but <laughs> i don't know and then there's a couple things about it like it, you leave it till it the, the skin will start turning looking actually tan yeah but then you put it in and you don't have to flesh before you put it in no you put it in first for a couple days mm -hmm. take I, it out. I usually go a week just to be safe okay you put it in for a, however long mm -hmm. you want to that way that way you don't go under you can't go over no, that's the good thing about it is you can't go over. Mm -hmm. I, I just pulled that little my little piglet out of my martini tan. It's yeah. been in there for like a year and a half yet the other day and cleaned it up and it looks just as good as it's well, a little greasy, but <laughs> yeah, you got to wash it mm -hmm. and uh, and we wash them and blow dry them too after they're mounted. You know, yep. we dawn and warm water, right. get, get it all shampooed out and, and then um, oh so. Yeah, you can flesh it, and the flesh is really easy. Mm -hmm. You kind of just peel it, and yeah. And then the thing though to look for is when you're when you flesh it and you turn your lips, and no, because you don't have to turn that when you put it in. Mm -hmm. You know, if there's any pink, then it's not done. Yeah. And then the criticalest part is to take the the fat out of the fat pad, uh, the fat pads on the feet mm -hmm. and whatnot. Any fat at all is is uh you're gonna have problems yeah so it's it's kind of foolproof but you got to do your end mm -hmm. absolutely yeah that little piglet of mine was pretty fatty for a five week old piglet but mm -hmm. it uh and i didn't do anything to it since i put it in there until the other day when i pulled it out and i put it on the wire wheel because it was pretty that bad yeah it was, i left quite a bit of shit on there just because it was i didn't want to mess with that little thin skin too much no 
but wow. I, I managed to wire wheel it without ripping any holes in it, knock wood, so. Yeah. Oh, speaking of that martini stand, Shay came, was doing a project yesterday, mm -hmm. and you know, I got that other secret project. Yeah. I go, let me see that thing, man. She's like, Bam! <laughs> no. I go, no, let me, I just need to measure the length of something, you know? Yeah. She's like, no. And then later on, she goes, oh, it's uh, slipping, so you might be able to have that part you need, so, you know? Uh-huh. I go, yes. <laughs> well, but we're having silicone problems, my friend. Yep, I don't know what the deal is. No. First, I thought it was because, now, when you start molding mannequins, making molds and, and doing all this, you're gonna do every stupid thing you can think of. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get excited and everybody forgets to catalyze the Bondo. <laughs> That's just one thing, or your gel coat, mm -hmm. you know. That just, that's a given. Yeah. And you'll, you'll forget to do this and forget to do that. So mm -hmm. we forgot to shellac. Well, I didn't, because I wasn't doing it, but, um, the person who did forgot to shellac the oil because when you're using oil clay you gotta shellac it yeah no matter what your mold so first i thought it didn't kick because of that mm -hmm. you know but then i think it might be bad silicone then i thought we did it again and i brought it in the house yeah because i thought maybe it's too cold mm -hmm. and i but then it wasn't too cold yeah and then again it kicked everywhere but right like you, like the shit you molded, mm -hmm. or it didn't mold around what you needed molded. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't, I don't know. A couple of them, the, the, that batch of stuff I used is completely different brand than that stuff Shea had. So really, I don't. Who knows? Yeah, no, because I was thinking it's bad silicone too. Yeah, I know some of them you gotta mix like exactly down to the gnat's ass. Really, they recommend doing it on a scale, but we ain't got time for that shit. Maybe, maybe I need to make time for that shit. <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking, uh, who do I know that's like a drug dealer where I could get a scale for that? Yeah. You know? um, I don't know. Yeah. But maybe. no, it's, uh, I think uh, we'll bring that. Bring I got to other... start measuring shit. I'm going to be fucked because, pardon my language, because we have methods mm -hmm. how we do measure. Like the little notch on the Coke cup <laughs> is X amount, yeah. right? Uh, and then, or the, if you take it up to the, the swell in the neck, it's this much. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes we even take a stick and measure it on a, like what it inches and yeah. put it in, but, you know, but no, then I, what happens if the cup flares? Yeah, there you go. See, that's what this is, I mean. Yeah, this is, luckily this is a one-off thing you're working on, so yeah. it's not, uh, not the end of the world if you have to, if, if we got to bust the scale out or whatever, but. No, it's a one-off, but. <clears throat> oh, speaking of one-off, I talked to uh, John with my, uh, this ornament thing, it got out of control, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But it's funny. Mm-hmm. So, uh, he conned me in to starting a project for 2025. Yeah. So, you know, luckily I have other projects for this year. Mm-hmm. That I said I'd never compete again, so, I mean, yeah. Here I am. Funny how that happens, huh? Well, it's all your fault. You know? Whatever. I'll take it. I was showing Wendy that thing you did, and she goes, oh, wow, maybe you should have just, too bad he didn't, <laughs> didn't twist off you and learn right, because, you know, it was sarcasm. Uh-huh. You know? Yeah. Yeah, speaking, yeah. speaking of learning right, though, I'm doing a couple unauthorized things on my circus mount this year, so we'll see. Well, you're allowed to do unauthorized things. Yeah. This is where it gets weird again, and I've said this about a million times, mm -hmm. is it's okay to ride for the brand. Yeah. As long as you know why and what, and that you're not changing mm -hmm. your own every day. No, absolutely. Yeah. And the stuff I'm doing, I mean, it's nothing I wouldn't do normally. It's just... Well, I was thinking I even got to do, I got to do some stupid stuff to my project. Yeah, well... That I wouldn't. You, you have no option but to be stupid. Well, no, you just, or the project. No, <laughs> what, what, that was a good one, dude. What, what you got me good on that one. No, I meant it. But, but what you're, oh, the project you're doing, you've got nothing, nothing, nothing to compare to. There's no, no, uh, no, no. But I'm waiting for the uh, 
I'm waiting for the critique because that's where it's going to be so much fun. Yeah. Because there is no, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, one person said, "Oh, they were obviously this." Yeah. And then I was thinking when I saw some of the um, what it was, it was like the complete opposite color mm -hmm. of what they said. Yeah. So I don't know. It's it's and actually I'm doing this. And, and even the, the st other thing, I'm doing just for fun. Yeah. Well, yeah. Actually, I'm really honestly having a good time, and, mm -hmm. and it really isn't about the ribbon. It's just... Oh, absolutely. absolutely. After all these years, I decided I wanted to do some, mm -hmm. you know, because they, they told me when I get this old, I'm supposed to not be mounting four heads a day, and they were lying, <laughs> you know. And, yeah. Uh, you know, speaking of that, we got an even older timer coming today. Yeah. And he's 75 or 6. And yeah. he's still, fuck, we got to do two hippo life size and two giraffes swooning or, what'd you say? <laughs> megafauna. Charismatic megafauna. Charismatic. Charis <laughs> fornicate and charismatic megafauna. Hey, whatever works. Well, it's not exactly, it's pre fornication, I guess. You know? That's the important part, so I hear. Well, I've been I've been been uh, shocked into blindness by what's going on in the real world, so I don't want to know. Yeah, no, I'll stay in my fantasy world. <laughs> so, well, maybe these are right up your alley. Then I don't know the tomato know. paste incident. Well, not that kind of fantasies. Or and the uh, Congress incident. You know. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking because that's all we got to do when we're quietly mounting heads here by ourselves mm -hmm. and i was thinking if you got 15 years for putting your feet up on the table yeah what do you get for dragging something else across the table right mm -hmm. i don't know dude i just the world you know i would say the twilight zone now yeah. we've gone past bizarro yeah but i don't think any kid under 40 knows what the twilight zone is oh yeah they, they've they've made new versions of oh it. they have oh, yeah. okay I'll have to tell Pa because he don't know nothing now. He's really, I, you know, he's going to be like Kramer. I, I really believe he's just not going to get any more mail. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be, you know, he just, yeah. he said, no, what are they going to do? I'll move into the woods, <laughs> you know, yeah. and I just won't get any mail. And then how old, you know, yeah. they won't you go live Grizzly Adam style. Exactly. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, hey, it's countdown to Poppy. Yep. And, A couple uh, more days. Yep. And uh, they're all worried I won't understand her. Why is it me? Hang on, Sam. Say something here. Why is it I'm the guy that's always gonna screw it up or whatever? You know, I mean, yeah. like, why is that guy always my buddy? I always say that to you. You know, I told you why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Well, no, it's, it's easy to blame everything on me because I am chaos. I mean, that's what I do. Yeah. Unintentional as it may be. Like Rick called you, it's organized chaos around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh! And we use the term organized right. loosely. Oops, I'm loosely. my microphone. That's all right. Dude, no, that's been, it's been a pleasure to work around here now. Absolutely. Yeah. Give it, oh. give it another couple weeks until all your yellow comes in and then be asshole. No, nah, look at, look at, I, Shay left a mess, I can say that, because she did. <laughs> We've said that a couple times. And then I sweeped, months. I cleaned it, I said, man, what are you doing to my shop now? Yeah. Oh, she said, oh, Mr. Mr. Organized now, huh? <laughs> yep. She goes, it only took me seven years, you know? Uh-huh. I go, well, here I am, you know? Yep. Oh, so I got to do this elk the other day, and Matt um, used the bolt-on pedestal, genius idea, mm -hmm. genius idea. But, uh, I, man, I'm hung up on that mechanical attachment word. Yep. I'm sorry. You'll have to bear with me till I... It's all good. So I used mechanical attachment to sew it up, needle mm -hmm. and thread. Then I used another mechanical attachment on the back. I used a staple gun. Yep. And I used mechanical attachment for the high. I used glue, you know. I don't know if that's mechanical. Well, that other thing. It was mechanically mixed. Okay, well, I'm mixing a bunch of stuff. and yeah. <laughs> No, for sure. I don't know. It's just fun, the words you hear. And uh -huh. it, just strikes, it just strikes you. Like, what the hell does that mean, you know? And Yeah. And you run with... And, well, most people don't give it a second thought. But me, you know, what else does my committee in my head have to talk about? Yeah. You know? 
Exactly. You know, I have the best conversations with myself. That's why when that song comes on, hello, me. <laughs> it's me again. Yeah, Chuck has become a Megadeth fan. Yeah, Megadeth fan. Yeah. You're sweating bullets. And a motorhead, dude. I missed out on the whole motor. I am so disappointed in myself. Nah, it's all good. I thought I was a cowboy and everything. Legends you know? live on. Yeah, they do. <clears throat> oh, it wasn't just because of his music. It's because mm. of other things that... No, for you sure. You know, and then I'm going to track down that 98 Carabina with the signature on it. Uh -huh. I got to have that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Lenny was a huge collector like me. Uh -huh. Hector the collector. Got the room done, on, you know? Mm -hmm. Got the room done. And I got to have it for... Till Friday. <laughs> And yeah. it gets repossessed by the, because all the crap goes in there. But this time, you know, I said that before, but no, this time I got it. You saw it, man. Yeah, and dialed now, now, now all the crap will go around the organized stuff. Instead right, of and then, and then, mingling. and then it'll leave with them. Allegedly. No, I got, I did the shit. I mean, I got it. I got it down, uh -huh. man, you know. Oh, speaking of that, we got to take the, uh, the Jeep out of the Jeep trailer. No. Oh. Instead of hook the Jeep trailer, does it? That's weird. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta take the Jeep out of the Jeep trailer. We gotta get the mini Jeep detailed. Detail. We gotta put the battery in. It's gonna be raining the whole time they're here. Yeah, that's fun. You know what's funny about that is they never saw the sun since they left here. Yeah. Last time, and over there in jolly old England. Yeah. You know? And uh, um, and here we are. I don't know. So I learned so much. That, you know, I, I wish they would quit fixing and stuff. <laughs> I had to buy, now, see, you guys might not realize this, but they had the perfect Tupperware thing, model 720-something. Mm -hmm. And don't send me it, because it could be 27 or whatever. Yeah. Unless it is the bread one. It's it's the perfect size. For a row of corn burritos. Yeah, we, we we talked about you ordering the wrong one last time. That was... Oh, we did? Yeah, we did. Oh, hey, you know, the great thing about me is I don't know yeah. what I talked about last time. It's always a new day around here. Well, I ordered the right one. Yeah. And now, and then I saw we ordered another one, right, that we thought was the same, and they had updated the model. Now it's a half inch too narrow <laughs> on, the, on the new one of that number. Yeah. Right? I just wish they'd quit fixing shit. You yeah, know? absolutely. Well, it's they like need two fix. by four, one and three quarters by three. And, and they get any smaller, it's going to be like a one by two. Yeah, I know. Because this place was actually built out of real two by fours, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, I don't know. Well, you got me all back enthusiastic again. So we got you. This time he's kicking my ass, man. Got to be done. He's, uh,. Got his yellow first, because mm -hmm. all my shit came in late this year. Yeah. It's called late year, and for some reason when it's a late year, it really feels like it's pushed back yeah. farther than it is. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So my bash came back with October stuff already, mm -hmm. so it, and it's a psychological deal, you know. Got to put together an order, and uh, I was waiting on instructions, and I just told man I ain't waiting to soon as I get the one exotic, then it's, it's on. Yeah. Oh, and then I had a measurement discussion with a client yesterday. Because uh -huh. on that one deal, remember it said it was 6 by 17 or 6 and a quarter? Oh, yeah. On that. And then you stretched it out. It was like fucking 20. Mm -hmm. You know, I go, dude, where did that guy measure that? Because this is the thing when you get measurements that aren't your own. Mm -hmm. You don't know where the measurement point is. Yeah, but I, well, you know, before I stretched it, it could have been 17, mm -hmm. so, and then the phone rang. I didn't even bother again, because the phone hasn't rung in, uh, mm -hmm. in forever. And so I will just talk right over it. So We're gonna, man. What the hell they say. That's it, because that's... some embarrassing message, probably a, probably a uh, telemarketer anyways, trying that to sell or... auto insurance, or. No, what did I have the other day? The flamingo call was, uh, <laughs> yeah. then I had the falcon ran into the window call. Yeah. Then they had, they found a bobcat on the road call. And what can we do? What can we do? Yeah. And then I kept telling them, well, I can't do anything, but you could uh, call Fish and Wildlife and yeah. they give you a note mm -hmm. 
I'll be happy to do it. Absolutely. There's, there's ways around things. So. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that sounds like your guest. Oh, it's Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Well, oh, good. Well, he won't be he's on his well, way. He's in a, I, I go, you know, he's going to show up right in the middle of the, uh, the podcast. <laughs> I don't be too embarrassed to be on it, but I, I really wish he would be. Yeah, for sure. Because he, uh, there's a lot of history with that guy. Mm -hmm. A lot of history. No, most definitely. And I was really sad the other, let's bring it back to this again. The amount of history, and fortunately you've been exposed to a lot of it right before the end. Oh yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And then, and, uh, cause it's, <clears throat> if you don't pick up the ball and, uh, if I don't write that book, which it doesn't look good, because um, <laughs> I don't know, two need things to, I can't do is read and write. Yeah, I need to get you a, one of the mini tape recorders no, and you can just turn it on and talk. That's what I have to do. Yeah. I just have to, you because I'll let, never let Shay, uh, bed it. In. Let Shay put it on paper. Yeah. Yeah, I asked her to really actually write it, because mm -hmm. uh, she would, but now she's getting some new license for to kill or something. <laughs> you know yeah, she's gonna tank driving license Fuck, I, you know wouldn't be surprised uh -huh. no she's getting some uh pilot teaching pilot light oh you know? nice you know because she's only been flying for like a year so of yeah. course she's the best ever well, yeah. combat helicopter pilot as, as she does lived, as she does you know and uh sorry we're not synchronized drinking on purpose that's weird. <laughs> Man, I, I got you bad. Now, look at that Flemish giant. Mm, I've been looking at him. Now, my problem is, only one criticism I would say is I hate... Uh, someone said, perhaps we should carve the ear tips. Yeah. And someone was overruled, you know? Yeah. But uh, other than that... But I think she might have showed me the picture, and I think it might have been... Like, and the back corner of the eye, mm -hmm. it fucks me up because yeah. it's got a, uh, that's there. That's in the skin. Mm -hmm. So it makes it look like the girls, when they put that new way they do that thing yeah. now, you know, the evil eye or whatever yeah, it is. Cat eye mascara or whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I got a question. Okay, uh, I got an I, answer. Okay, good, because uh, this, this is going to get me... Oh, I was in jail for one day on Facebook again, <laughs> but only for a day. Well, that's good. But this will get me banned. So I saw there, Wendy showed me that they say Madonna is the most beautiful woman in the world now. Okay. And I'm thinking, how did we fall this far down from the beauty tree? Yeah, maybe, maybe once upon a time, I suppose. And they say, what, longevity? And I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You well, if you saw the if you saw the picture, as I get as I leave you speechless, I just got left speechless as well. But who me? Yeah, yeah. There you go. See, there's a rule, and it starts kicking in when you hung around me <laughs> at two years. Yeah, but not just a little bit, a lot. But then by five years in, it's and then after that, like you saw Mike got foam on the ceiling mm -hmm. and a piece of foam on his shoe and yeah you know it starts and it's just the weirdest it's well you know it, it could be worse i mean it could have been it could have given it to caitlin jenner or somebody it's not much better but so that's another tragic story so i ran into a, a person of that you know and then luckily i had experience from from the movies you watched <laughs> that's good dude, dude dude man i walked right into that one but you walked gave me the other one man that i was stupid or whatever oh. yeah but no so luckily i knew like i wasn't sure, you know yeah. I, I just knew what to do you you i had more more empathetic there you go you know and Less, way less judgmental. Well, that's good. And uh, and crazy people are people too. They're no, and I got I seem to attract, except for you weren't, but and Mike wasn't. But I wonder what that says about you guys. Yeah, I'm my own brand of crazy. And Rudy, Rudy's just Rudy. You know, he's, he's Australian, so that doesn't count. No, crazy is the, 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 even his toilet water there. swirls backwards, uh -huh. man. 
Hey, man, we're gonna just, people will never grow up. We're gonna now, Rudy. God damn, you know. I was watching <laughs> this. Uh, they got this NCIS Sydney now, mm -hmm. and he was like laughing his ass off. And they had the first episode. And now, now this is not okay. Now I'm really gonna get in trouble because it's always the African American and the snake thing. Yeah. Why I don't know. So the guy's from America, right? And he's kind of the the sidekick mm -hmm. to the other one. And uh, he's got to crawl under and find the dead body. And then he's looking eye to eye with that brown, uh, whatever, that fucking thing they got uh -huh. over there. And then it reminded me when Rudy was cleaning his gutters. Yeah. And he's like this, and he goes, oh, hello there. <laughs> and it's like right there. And instead of panicking, you know, Rudy, mm -hmm. he just picks it up and, you know. Tosses it, but I showed you that picture of that black rattler. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out so well when we tossed that son of a bitch. <laughs> I mean, them things can move when they want to get you. And that's what I hear. Yeah. What the hell was my malfunction? I don't know. I'm sure lots of people ask that about you. No, I used to have, like, rattlesnakes and all this insane shit. That, that I'm glad you outgrew that shit. Ever tell you that story? About the... Probably. Uh, well, I'm going to tell it again. <laughs> Cause this one was kind of funny. I decided I was gonna let this guy go. This big, fat ass black one I had. Watch it. Uh, Pacific black diamond bat. There you go. <laughs> um, and I had this friend, and sadly he committed suicide. But his nickname was Poindexter. And I said, Poindy, okay. Now I'm gonna lift the lid up off this little box. And this snake has got such an attitude, he's going to lift his head, mm -hmm. right? So I'm going to need you to do this and that, you know, because then I'll get the stick on him, right? So I lift the thing, he comes up, pointy panics, and runs, and leaves me eye to eye with this son of a bitch I had to <laughs> wrestle. And I grabbed that snake, I was so pissed at him, I chased him around the yard with that rattlesnake. <laughs> And he was screaming and crying, and mm -hmm. he was like a 30-year-old you know, year old man. But Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'm, and then I'm I, glad you outgrew that shit, because yeah. I'd be you, driving a truck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, but then, I, and I don't know why I, I segued into this, but I mean, what, you know, you wonder back before you got sober, and you think, what the hell were you thinking? Mm -hmm. You know? So wait, if I wasn't, if I was drinking, then I wasn't, could have been 30, but probably I was like 28, Yeah. you know? And, uh, that's nuts, man. I did a lot of nutty stuff that I quit doing when I got sober. Well, that's good. Yeah. And, and surprise, you know, your mind always goes right to that Facebook post. Yeah, well. And I must have trained you well, you know? Mm-hmm. I trained you well, young fatty one. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Matt passed another milestone. He made something molded it, mounted on it, and got the thumbs up from the big man. Yeah, I'll take that. And, and especially because it was straight, and the nose was straight, and everything was straight. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, you should take that. And it freaking looks good. Yeah, not too bad. No, uh, I was going to, in fact, he had it over there, sitting there, and I got, was so like looking at it so much, I screwed it up on the wall <laughs> at my eye level which is about two feet lower than Matt. <laughs> yeah. And then I wish I'd have had it in the back, but it really doesn't matter because uh, we yeah. don't want to unveil and that's just a prototype. Yeah, for sure. So It's going to be a tiny pig season around here. So. We pigs, we call it. Mm -hmm. You know, and then uh, also rock season. I meant going to put the rock slide on that one behind me there mm -hmm. and call that one good. Yeah. And then I come up, I think I told you my plan for the bottom of the, since they're not having bases, mm -hmm. I'm going to get that, that Jippo uh, vinyl. Yeah. Barnwood shit or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think guess. that's the way to go. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Man, speaking of rocks, my box of rocks will be here tomorrow, allegedly. The yeah. Riding UPS is true to their word. Well, we like Mohawk Guy because his products are, uh, I'm having fun with them. Oh, absolutely. Took me like almost two years, right? I said, we're going to take two years. Yeah. And we got a system now, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a good system. Absolutely. And it started like when, oh, remember when Shay was building that rock for that falcon or whatever? Mm -hmm. And then I remembered uh, us, and she's like three, four, five hours, you know? And yeah. I said, no, nah, 
here, do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And we found that out by doing what you were doing. But yeah. I'll just save you the trouble <laughs> since you're part of the team. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, you know they make a definitely a quality product and uh, I'm kind of excited to see where else they go from here. They've already spawned into a second company now. So really what's the company? Uh, I can't remember what they called it, but basically everything, all their habitat material minus the rock panels are going through the other company now. And the other company, it, well, it's, I can't remember what, what, what Is they it his it. company. Yeah. You mean? Well, oh. he, well, he gave it to his like number, number two. Because how can you do everything? Yeah, exactly. That's what Freighter did. Yeah. And now he was, never mind, I can't get into that. But. Yeah, but no, it's, uh, you know, it's still Rocky Mountain Materials is going to be selling the uh, the big rock panels and something else as far as the rocks go, and then mainly just the, all the bird products and stuff. I was wondering if I could get him, what he would charge me to mold me a pair of something. I don't know. Could you message him for me? I can. I could say what it is, but it would screw up my my thing. <laughs> no, yeah, well, I'll, I'll I'll shoot him a text message later. Because I I thought if I had that material, I could heat it up, mm -hmm. and then I could form it to what I need. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then I could, if it was like long enough, I could trim the taste. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, for sure. You know, here I am thinking again. I hate when that happens. Me, oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I love on Facebook? I saw who remembers a handwritten report card. <laughs> who remember? And then they saw that I will not mm -hmm. thing. God, that was me. I will not not know how to spell denominator. <laughs> a thousand times I had to write that. Mm -hmm. And if you ask me to spell it now, I still can't spell it. D o m i n a t o r. Sure. Denominator. Sounds good to me. Right? Anyway. Oh! So I got sucked into something too. That you know how you don't want to do a project, but the guy's the guy. Mm -hmm. So apparently I got to do a front half of the deer with the American flag ah. painting, you know? Yeah. I'll do it. Could well, be worse. Could it? How? I don't know. <laughs> a Chinese flag or something. Oh! Okay, here's the official, official fireman. <laughs> I saw the new, um, I wonder how Uncle Ted feels about the new state flag he's going to have. Yeah. Because look at the Somalian flag and look at their new flag. It's not good, dude. Yeah. It's a, almost a carbon copy of the Somalian flag. Interesting. Interesting because they have the highest popular, I mean, that's fine. I mean, uh, I'm, you know, I'm a Dago, you know, from a, from Dago land, uh -huh. real deal, and we're all immigrants, but my grandfathers were, what you, I was going to say, imminent, no, insistent that we are Americans. Yeah. We're Americans, we're not Italians, we're mm -hmm. Americans, you know, no, that, absolutely. that's it, and they were proud to be American, mm -hmm. and I told you they got a lot of shit, and they got... A lot of prejudice and a lot of yeah. raided by the FBI and they chopped up his spaghetti boxes looking for the whatever. Yeah. That's a true story, I'm man. I'm sure it is. During Prohibition, you know, because mm -hmm. he sold spaghetti. Yeah. Us Dago's like we are, like my Moriarty nickname from Kelly's Heroes is not Moriarty, a uh, crap game. It's kind of a, a thing, mm -hmm. as Matt would say. You know, I'm always making a deal. I'm always, I always know a guy. Mm -hmm. That's, it's hilarious, you know. And I, and I think back to my lineage, and uh, cause the Italians were allowed to make wine back then, you know. Mm -hmm. And my mom would go down and siphon the wine off for dinner and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a different... Interesting. Yeah, no, it's, it's, a, it's so much his, rich history. It's not all bad. Yeah, no, no, for sure. And I wasn't even telling you that back then in Los Angeles... <laughs> that was Shay. She didn't shut it off, and, I, and it was my fault. We're not double checking it, but I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyways, I'm gonna. Back then, L.A. was like uh, Ohio a little bit, and it actually had trees and, and and orchards and everything. But then everybody lived, and I'd almost call it a segregated deal. You had the Italian section, you had the whatever section. Everybody had their. Because they wanted to live near, not because it was racist yeah. at all. It's just because that's just, you know, mm -hmm. 
the the because they were a lot fresh immigrants. You know, yeah. you're talking mm-hmm. 1908, 1910, 1915. You know, yeah, well, you stick to your own. I mean, right. And they had wooden sidewalks. Wow. And then they made the law: you can't no longer shoot. That's when it all started going downhill. I'm telling you, you could no longer shoot rabbits from the. Uh, the trolley car thing. <laughs> that's a true law, and it's still on the books. Nice. Can you imagine you were hunting rabbits in downtown LA? Man? I like it. I like it too. That explains all the coyotes in downtown Hollywood now. Oh, dude. Huh? They come out of the hills and eat the stray cats. Isn't there a band called the Stray Cats? Yes, there they is. rock pretty good. Yeah. You know. Can you imagine if I went and played uh, stand-up bass, wouldn't I have to get like a quarter bass? <laughs> yeah, you said there's like quarter, line. half bass, Something. three quarters. and uh, Oh, it's a good thing too, Jeff, that um, I had my bass back for Christmas when Poppy got here. Yeah. Which she said no problem. So <laughs> you have four days left. Yeah. Well, he was going to come today, but he called me last night. And apparently, Zach has the uh, China virus, so... He decided to not come by just in case that way he didn't get anybody sick before the family got here. Well, that's a new one. Yeah. And there's uh, probably true, but, yeah. you know. You have to expand his wheel. He did, because a lot of the other excuses are taken away. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. But, but no, the, it's all good. Yeah. We, we Crisis was averted. Yeah. Luckily, well, I didn't throw away all my guitars from back when I thought I was cool, so... Well, you are cool, and I really appreciate that. No, it's, it's, all good. it's a big, I, you know, I have a fantasy is, well, shut up. I mean, I would like to take lessons with my granddaughter, you know, mm-hmm. and get her started young enough. Cause no, I, for she's sure. got, she's going to be something. Well, everybody's something, but I mean, like she's already doing triple backflips at gymnastics and all this. I mean, I don't see why not to start her now. Yeah. Because she's. She's just, you know, going to be like Shay, I think, except with the English accent. Do you see that painting Shay did? She just, I should show it. I don't know, I don't even know what my phone is again. <laughs> when you see this painting, you'll not like her a lot easier. Oh, okay. Cause it's pretty good. Well, good. You know, but uh, I don't know. Well, I'm looking forward to Christmas, and if I don't ask you this right now, because Wendy's going to ask me, what are you having for Christmas dinner? I'm going to be making a prime rib. Me too. Yeah, that's what you do. Oh, no. Automatic challenge. Nah. It's Christmas. It doesn't count. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I don't know that I can... I mean, my tri-tips... Well, hey, if you go over, to the, go over to the Whiskey Bent Barbecue YouTube page, you can see the new instructional video on really? how to cook a prime rib. I'm going to do that. Yeah. I will do that, dude. All I can say is my... I'll put the link to it down in the uh, down in the bottom here, even though... This comes out the day after Christmas. You can practice for next year. I no, guess. but I'll I'll go to the. It's on YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll send it to you. Oh, thank you. That that would help a lot. Yeah. Because now the new thing is, I got this where the computer is. I got this bigger plug device that's supposed to be solid. Oh, okay. So I can plug the Christmas lights in. Oh, there you go. And then every time we unplug them, it wiggles the thing and shuts the computer off. And so then I got to like. Fuck it, I'm too lazy to start it over again. Yeah. And then on the phone, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that just, I don't even know how that yeah. works. But uh, my tri-tip has come up 5,000% well, in good. taste, you know what I mean? Because of you. Mm-hmm. Well, since this is our Christmas episode, right? Mm-hmm. I got you something. Don't worry, it's not a snake. Dude, I don't have yours that's in the house. It's fine. It's taped on there pretty good, though, so... Why'd you do that to me while I'm way up here? I was going to wrap it too, so I didn't do that. So be thankful. Careful it doesn't escape. Well, it rattles. Is it a toy? (laughs) Maybe. Sometimes I'm like a little kid. Uh Uh-huh. I got you. I took a page out of Shay's book. bought you some stuff that I needed for Christmas. So. <laughs> Boy, I just need a couple more people here and I can get... Let's see, what did we get you? Like I said, Shay. Mm-hmm. 
we got you some new of these. What we need really drill that? bits and some new. Uh, oh, what? what hey, wait a minute. Sawzall blades. Wait, what the hell does this mean? Are you you're tired of using the one <laughs> blade for two years? We can't keep straightening it out. It's not going to work no more. And then, oh my God, we need some these. real drill bits. Yeah, yeah. I noticed the other day you were. Uh, you use like four of my drill bits to get through one thing. That's why you got some new ones. <laughs> and then, oh, I needed one of these the other day. Uh -huh. And some new uh, screwdriver bits. I need. So you don't have to use the same one that's broken. Does this have a square one too? I probably. Oh yeah, it does. I needed this really bad the other day. <laughs> Had to go manual with the T handle. Ah. But yeah, no, just stuff that I knew you're never gonna buy for around the shop anyway. So I figured. Uh, you know what? This is, I just love it, man. Yeah. Oh man, this is the kind of crap that's uh, <laughs> that's do something with that. Yep. Um, that's the kind of crap I love. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Because what do you get a guy who's got everything? Yeah. And nobody really wants to buy me the tank I want because <laughs> nobody wants to be responsible. Mm-hmm. You know? Yep. Because I had a discussion with Mike the other day because we noticed something on Kelly's Heroes that uh, what we figured was a, a marker for the editor. But then I said, you know, it ain't that easy to, to turn a Sherman that tight as you think around a corner. Mm -hmm. You know, so you snap a track, you know. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, so I... I'd, Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, it's not just stuff for me. Mine will benefit from it. Your gift isn't for the shop. That's okay. Well, it might be <laughs> because it could be uh, either give you a headache or cure a headache. It depends. Okay. But uh, I'm excited to see the new Prime River recipe. That's the same one. Just now we give you detailed instructions on how to do it. Oh, by the way, I got it on good uh, a good source. Mm-hmm. That that set it and forget it smoker. You better not forget it yeah. when you set it because it comes out um, black. That's what they say. And uh, again, I was thinking again when I was cooking something the other day. Going, this is the fun of it is is tending to it, oh, not yeah. the fun or the experience, mm -hmm. you know. And trying to get it just right and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, no, it, all those different cooking methods have a time and place, but the, the Easy Bake Oven ones are kind of overkill, I think. Well, I'm thinking, how lazy are we going to be? And then I saw the new tied-up shoes that you don't have to tie your shoes, you know? Yeah. Luckily, I'm really not into shoes, but I go, yeah. wow, you're too lazy to tie your shoelaces now. It's uh, Well, they don't look at it like that, but if you see the increments, the way, mm -hmm. the way you look at it when you're an old guy, yeah, and you see it, you know mm -hmm. how it used to be and 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 now how it now you know everything's whatever yeah i don't know i don't know <laughs> i forgot to ask Fraser what he's having for christmas so now i got a minute call him right now don't let me forget to ask him yeah because when you know women and men are, are so different you know, we One call things I'm thankful for. Oh man, me too. Because, uh, <clears throat> oh, that's a deal I found out confirmed that, uh, cause now I know enough, but I'll tell you about that later. Um, oh God, God bless me. I don't know why people still even talk to me, but yeah. I wonder myself sometimes. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> now, nah, now I was so profound. I forgot where I was going with this, what I was saying, but which is my custom. Yeah, you confirmed something. Well, that, but I don't want to say that on the air. <coughs> oh, but okay. before that, what was I saying? You don't even remember. Because it's You're talking nonsense. about men and women being different and what the boss is having. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or... Because we'll be talking. And, uh, and so what's Mac doing? Uh, how's this? How's that? I said, I don't know. <laughs> well, what did you talk about? We talked about the mechanical attachment of the thing and... Uh, you know what yeah. we have to you know and then what you talk about nothing yeah you know then they're talking they know every like and then shay what's really funny is shay said the same thing she says my grandma asked me all about uh bubby's this family that i don't know yeah <laughs> well what'd you do we shot shit and blew shit up and yeah dug for fossils or nice that you know sounds flew, good to me. flew helicopters and you know <laughs> you know yeah because we always kid Shay that she's like one of the guys, mm -hmm. you know. 
And uh, so that's that's funny, you know. Yeah. Well, my grandma goes, but what is this? Man, I gotta know. She's like, why? <laughs> you know. I said, Shay, it's a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's just what what how it is. It's what uh, you do. It's what you do. So you're gonna have to like get a little notebook and write everything about all Bubby's sisters and brothers. And, <laughs> yeah. And Dominic, my my future bonus father-in-law, he's hilarious. You know. So I asked him, hey, what did Dominic say about that situation we were talking about earlier? Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, God, I'm terrified to see what he says because he's, he's just hilarious. Yeah. And I said, now you got two of them, man. You're doomed. <laughs> you know? She goes, well, at least I, at least I knew you. So <laughs> 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 nothing shocks me, you know. Mm -hmm. So anyway, well, Matt. Oh, what a good man! Fun today. Absolutely, yeah. Man, I had fun doing that elk too, man. It yeah, was fun. It's always a fun time when we share projects. It is, and then I can't, I can't. Uh, <coughs> Matt's getting so frosty here; you he can get a little intimidating, you know. Yeah. So, you know, and I'm really proud of him. My proud of all my, you know, I'm proud of Dave. He's got students, and mm -hmm. Ru Rudy's fucking Rudy, and Shay's still doing stuff even though she's flying. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a martini tan too. Yep. Oh, that's why I forgot. So that's why she left the compressor on because we burnt up the two. Oh. The uh, and it wasn't the switch, it was the motor. Yeah. Unlike Chuck with the other deal, orders mm -hmm. a new motor and it was a <laughs> ninety-nine cent switch. Yeah. yeah well, but, I, I was gonna bring my my blower down, my extra one, but well, it's not extra, but I've got a big one and a small one. I, no, I have to buy one. Yeah, that's what I, I, that's what I figured. I, 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 yeah. I'd bring it down and you'd either burn it up or you already bought a new one. So. Well, no, I haven't, but I have to. I just have to. No, for sure. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a have to. Christmas stuff and mm -hmm. no real excuse, but because I keep forgetting because I'm doing other shit. Yeah. But um, anyway, I don't know how we burned out too. I wonder if we should buy a different kind. I don't know. Maybe when they're thirty nine ninety nine, they're not the best one. Maybe I don't know. Somebody had a, a used one, a lightly used one for sale on Facebook the other day down in Carpinteria. I tried to jump on it, but there were really? like five people ahead of me trying to buy it. So. Oh, because yeah, dog rumors or whatever. Or yeah, it was a other like than a, that, or there's five new taxidermists. <laughs> no, there was a, it was a horse group. Mm. Use it after you give your horse a bath. Yeah, they do. Oh, good call. I'll ask uh, Dave's uh, fiance. Yeah. Yeah, because well, she's gonna poppy. Of course, she wants to ride a horse and be a roper. Yeah. Hey, how about Butch, man? He, you know. Mm -hmm. How about that? Is he gave them tickets because he couldn't go, but I guess his box seat at the rodeo is right down there mm -hmm. in the front next to that famous guy's dad. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You get to hang out with uh, Tough Cooper and his family. That's pretty pretty awesome. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna try to finagle my way into borrowing a couple tickets from Uncle Butch next year. We'll see. Dude, he'll beg you. I know. He's begging us to go. I, there I want. I wanted to go this year. I just came up with the idea to go too late. <clears throat> you know, and then he yeah got that sweet deal. Yeah. You know, not a sweet deal. A, no, sweet, a sweet deal. Yeah, it is a sweet deal <laughs> and a sweet deal. Yeah. And then you might even get the limo now because now he got a uh, his other friend. Uh, Frankie the Chicken Neck or whatever his name is <laughs> discovered that somehow you know which was in the situation he was in. And yeah. Sent his limo to him and took him to that Raiders game on the you know five yard line you know 50, yeah. whatever the good you know <laughs> gives you an idea how he used to really live. No, for sure. You know when he said he used to have more juice and all that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, he's just such. I'm just happy for however long he's. Even though he calls me like every day, that's okay, Butch. Oh, heck yeah. We miss you. And he goes, well, you know what he says? He says, you guys are working your ass off. You guys are always doing. He says, I can even tell when I'm talking to you that you're doing this and doing that. <laughs> and I said, well, I have to, Butch. You know? Yeah. And he says, but he says, but all I got to do is sit here, you know. Yeah. In the big chair. And uh, but now he says, I sit here and I stare at my deer heads, man. And <laughs> I said, that's good, Butch. Yeah, heck yeah. He says, that's good. He said, the way you got them. And I said, well, we could have got the third one 
to actually plug in, but I didn't have the other two, and I was going off memory. Mm -hmm. But it, and I, I bet if I was there, me and you to hang them. In fact, if we go back, I think we could adjust it a little more because yeah. because uh, George's cousin hung them and mm -hmm. okay. and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not. They're not professionals. Yeah, like right? we allegedly are. Huh? I said like we allegedly are. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Allegedly, yeah, we use the word. I mean, I just say like sometimes I just totally get what Uncle Ted says. He's just a guitar player. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what I said. I was a hamburger flipper and a yep, and a tap, you know, animal stuffer. That's shit. I ain't, you know. Yeah, I ain't no fucking genius. Mm -hmm. You know, far from it. Yep, absolutely. Well, you know, we've been at this for almost an hour now. I think we can get ready to start our work day. I guess. You know, unless there's something else profound you need to talk about. No, what I profoundly need to talk about is how much I enjoy going out in the wet, drippy salt room <laughs> in the rain. Yeah. You know, but uh, it's all part of the, you know, I told you the yep. other day, you got to take the good with the bad. <clears throat> Absolutely. Sometimes we got to paint a flag on the back of the thing or whatever the hell you had to do the other day. Yeah. Oh, I know. It was that tan thing because you got customers and you gotta you gotta take care of them mm -hmm. yep you gotta do what you gotta do and uh fred's bringing up that's what's weird too and see we're not really it doesn't really get weird mm -hmm. fred's bringing up a head that he did for another guy i'm mm -hmm. doing a head for this it, yeah it's just all good no absolutely yeah, know? absolutely it's all and he's gotta pick it up here yeah <laughs> that was a good good middle point yeah you know, well, the point is, that, yeah, and I said, well, Fred, we just, we got to stick together to survive what's coming now. Yep, absolutely. And we got to really got to work together. Yep, 100%. And, uh, and we always preach that. So that's enough of that shit. <laughs> Why don't you uh, talk us on out of here? All right. Well, thanks for watching another episode of Off-Centered Outdoors with Matt and Chuck. You can uh, be sure to look for us on all the spots where you get your podcasts. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. And uh, check us out on social media, at Butcher Shop Taxidermy everywhere, and uh, at Ojai underscore Valley underscore Taxidermy on Instagram for Chucky. And as always, if I'm going to get blocked, banned, fired, send it to Duck underscore Vader yeah. or Jeff Davis that's at the, Yahoo. That's where you drop all the complaints. All the complaints <laughs> go right to there, as always. And we hope you really do have... A great time yep. with the ones you love. Absolutely. And uh, and we'll catch y'all in the new year. Oh, man. That's a that, scary fucking thought. It is, dude. All right. Let's All get right. out of here, Chucky. Out. Have a good one.